What's up YouTube, it is me Smooth Grilled C, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a few memory circuits. Unlike uh, logic circuits who always have the same state depending on its current input, uh, memory circuit output is based off of not the current state of inputs but on the history of its inputs so this allows a memory circuit to remember what state it should be in until it's told uh, a new state to remember okay so the first item we're going to take a look at is the RS NOR latch an RS latch has two inputs one to set the output and one to reset the output so if we hit this first button the output set over there we can hit it again and it won't do anything but if we hit the reset input it's reset over here and you can't reset it twice so we have set and reset so this one's real real easy to build we've got two droppers facing into each other and our inputs right here then we're gonna have two comparators reading these droppers going into a block get out of here then those blocks will run into our outputs let's use redstone lamps not you right there right there we're gonna place one item in our dropper now we're gonna set it can't set it again so we reset it can't reset it again and so on and so forth this example is basically the same it's just laid out differently we have our set which can't be set twice in our reset which can't be reset twice set and reset so this one we have our input and we're gonna take our set and run it into a repeater into two blocks redstone dust on top we have a torch on the side running into some redstone dust and we'll have the reset running into these blocks which also have a redstone torch so we're gonna run our reset into a repeater then we're going to have our outputs set and reset next we're gonna look at a T flip-flop and a T flip-flop is uh, basically it's a toggle it turns a button into a lever um, it, ha it, it has only one input and it creates an on pulse you hit it and then it creates an off pulse so now it's on now it's off like a lever so this one is sending a pulse to lock these hoppers which is being read by this comparator and the comparator goes into a repeater to our output so we can see 
our item is in this first hopper we hit the input the item moves to the second hopper but gets locked which is r the comparator reads and gives us our steady pulse so this one we're gonna we're gonna build And then it gets we're gonna place a hopper like this and then like this put our redstone dust on this block and the hoppers we put a comparator reading the hopper a repeater taking the signal and then our output redstone torches here and here and then we're gonna place our input and then we'll put one item in the hopper since we put it in this back hopper the pulse is on we we hit the button the pulse is shut off This next example takes the circuit and wraps it around. So we toggle it on, then we toggle it off. And what it's doing is our input is going into the this dropper hopper circuit, which is being read by this comparator, taken into the block to our output. And you can see it's off so the item is in the first hopper or dropper excuse me and we toggle it and the item is moved to this dropper we toggle it off it runs into this dropper to this hopper and back into this one so this will be our input Then we're going to place a dropper uh, let me get a, a dropper then we're going to place a dropper right here facing this direction we'll place another dropper facing up into another dropper facing this way into a hopper we'll have a comparator reading the dropper and we'll run that into a block and then we're gonna run that block into our output now we put one item in the dropper and it's on we hit the toggle and it turns off so the last memory circuit we're gonna take a look at is a counter um, unlike T flip flops or RS latches which only hold the on and off state a counter can be made to hold many states so this one holds five um, there's one two three four and I have it set up so the fifth state resets it um, I'll leave a link to the designer of this. I don't know his channel name off the top of my head, 
Um, he does a really good job explaining these and going into detail, showing you how to build big ones. So check definitely check that out. Um, we're just going to go ahead and jump into it and build this small one right here. So I'm going to make this one to be five. So you make, we're going to make five uh, rows coming out. Put a block at the end. We're going to place our repeaters in between each row. Not there. There. And then we're going to put a repeater in each row. Take your redstone dust and fill in all the blocks. Then we're going to build columns going up at the end of our rows. Now we're going to make a path behind our, our columns. We're going to swing around to this side and we're going to place repeaters set to four ticks. And once again, we're going to fill in the gaps with our redstone dust. Now we're going to carry the, the lines going up like this with redstone torches. And then we're going to put our outputs right here with redstone torches. When you get this far, you need to place a button right here and reset the circuit. Break that button. We're going to come over here and we're going to make a pulse to activate this. We're going to place a repeater right here on four ticks a torch right here and right here and then redstone dust there 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 and there and it's ready to go we're just gonna place an input right here I think I need to reset it again. One, two, three, and so on. Now, if we want it to reset when we get to the end, you place a torch right here. You're going to place a block right there, redstone dust, then make a line going to the beginning, and redstone dust. Now if you make a longer counter, you are going to have to put a repeater somewhere over here to carry your signal. So now when we get to the end it'll reset there's four and there's five and it resets also you these torches are your output so you can wire them up to other
things like redstone lamps or I suppose other switches or things of that nature. So there it is. So if you guys got something out of this or if it helped you in any way, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon so you're alerted of all my new videos. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever built any of these before. Um, there's tons of way to build these. These are just the quickest ones I found and I wanted to show you guys in this video. Um, thanks for watching.